Good morning. Today is a project morning. I've got a project that I have been waiting to kind of start and finish up. I've got a whole bunch of these big pots that are really expensive and they've broken and I'm going to attempt to put them back together and I've put them back together in the past with hot glue and they hold for about four or five years and then they fall apart. So this time I'm going to be using copper wire that I've gotten there that I had stripped off from some old Romex and I've got hearing protection, eye protection, and some new drill bits that I had to order that are just for masonry. And these things have a lot of shards, so that's why the eye protection, because if during drilling it chips, um, and yeah, I know this isn't a gourd or anything like that, but hey, it's colored brown. And I just want to see if this will work and if I can put my pots back together. So here's a bit of one of the pots that I started. I drilled holes through it and I didn't even bother cleaning because I want to make sure this works first. I drilled holes through and threaded the copper through, but if you see, I didn't allow enough space on the back side for the copper so I couldn't twist it together. Instead I made little pigtails. So I think I'm going to have to take this out, cut longer copper. This is all a learning experience of course. Cut longer copper and do it like that. Right, that very loud sound is the fan. I don't think I can do without it. It's really hot out here. All right, so first I've got to remove pieces that I put in there. And then try and thread some new pieces through because these were just a little too short, I believe. So no special tools yet, some pliers <laughs> and some wire cutters. The specialty tools will come in a little bit for the drilling holes. This is the set of drill bits that I got. These are Tarvol and there's all different sizes. And looking at the wire that I have, I think this next two smallest size is gonna work just fine. These are specially for masonry and masonry drill bit set. Don't know what I'll use them all for, but I think I'm gonna pick that second smallest one. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the other holes and get this ready so I can put it all together at once because I just think that's gonna work better. This is kind of funny, but actually these came in a pretty nice case for keeping them together. And once you open it, then you can flip all this up. That way you know you've got all your bits in the same place. And there's a little tab here that locks so that it locks down shut and doesn't flip open when you lose your bits. Pretty cool. Alright, that takes a very long time to get through. My idea of just going willy-nilly through there and making lots of holes all the way along might not work as well as I thought. All right, next hole, Bill showed me that I needed to be on two here and have it on drill here, and I don't have to worry about the torque with two different screws because I'm not screwing, so we'll see how long this second hole takes if it's any faster. All right, 41 seconds, so that was about twice as fast. I'm trying to let the bit do the work and not push a whole lot like you would with wood, but it's kind of tempting to push. Now I'm just lining up where I think the next two holes should be. And it would probably make sense if I marked them, wouldn't it? <laughs> I should put some marks. My next step is to measure some wire and I've got a bunch of wire and some snips and last time when I did this, I guess I don't need headphones at the moment, last time when I did this, um, I cut the wires too short and so when I put them through I didn't have enough to connect them and twist them all the way and what I want is I want them to actually connect and to be able to twist together so that they're really, really stable. And before I just had them come through and into like a little pigtail and it just didn't seem stable enough. And I'm pretty sure after I get a bunch on here, it's going to seem more stable. And I sure hope I have all the pieces to this pot. Otherwise, uh, this will be a little bit disappointing, but I've seen really creative things done with half pots anyway. And 
I wouldn't say I have enough pieces here to put together a couple more pots, but I have to actually check and see if I have enough pieces. Um, it's not like you can just scarf in another piece. It, it won't work like that. So next is hooking it together. Okay, my next step is going to be to cut pieces of wire to go through here, and they have to be long enough to go through the thickness of the pot. Um, make the stitch to the other piece, and then also to connect on the back side. What I did before was I was trying to save wire, and I cut the pieces so short that when I came through the pot, I just had enough to make a little pigtail. I didn't have enough to actually connect the two pieces, and it seemed like that wasn't as stable, and that I needed a full, not just like a staple, but a staple, and then for it to connect when it gets together. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, I'm being really, really careful about walking where I was just drilling because all of this, and actually I could sweep it and get it on the ground below, because a lot of this has really bad um, shards, and the shards will definitely cut you. So, here's my dirty pot. Here's the plan. If I did it correctly, every set of holes should just line up. And I need to estimate how much wire I need to make it through and have it actually meet itself again. So I'm going to say this much for this one. I'm going to open it up and kind of measure it. It's almost as long as my snips. Get it through here and here. <laughs> I think I cut way too much. Maybe I'll use it for this one. This isn't exactly like sewing, you know. But, oh yeah, I cut way too much. Go to this one. And so I've got it through that hole. Got it through that hole. This is the part I'm not quite sure. Is how do you get that sort of flat? This copper is soft, right? Pound it a little bit the easy part. That doesn't really... Okay, so here's what I've got on the other side. You can see this right here. I've got two big pieces sticking through. And the idea is that I'll be able to put them together, twist them like that, and hold it together. That is my plan. Stitches for a pot. Hey, Kiki. Hey, Kiki. Come on. Come on. You can come through. Yay. Whoops, you can come through. Yeah. Exciting. Alright, it didn't tighten up as much on the inside as I thought it would, but maybe once I'm done I can lay it on its side and tap it a little bit and kind of make it form better, or maybe each time I need to pay more attention to that. Oh gosh. Maybe each time I need to pay a little bit more attention to that and then um, flatten it as I go. Okay, I'm going to go for the second one now. You know, I cut way too much wire the last time. It, that should do. I'm anticipating that as I get these done, the whole pot's going to get more and more stable. I do need to get better at making it really flat right here. I need a little rubber mallet. I might as well put them all on now and then flip it and do the other part in a minute. I'm 
I've still got my safety goggles on, so no worries there. Probably cutting way too much, but this is better than before when I was cutting way too little. Ooh, that one fit very neatly. This one's really long, and I can't get too out of it, so I'm going to put it around the far side here where I think it's super thick. So I'm just bending it into a staple and then inserting it. We get back inside to it. It's definitely not going to be exact by any means. Is there another set there? Set here and a set there. Luckily, I have a lot of copper wire. I think I had stripped the wire because I was going to take it to recycling, but. Then I realized that it was much more valuable to me right here. So two more staples, one here, one here, and then I can flip it over and see how it's holding together. So dirty. I wasn't going to bother cleaning it because if this doesn't work, <laughs> I would have wasted my efforts. It's like a Frankenstein pot. Wow. Okay, so this time I cut everything way too long. I don't know if you can see that, but I cut them all way, way too long. So I did waste some wire, but I've got, I've got a lot more wire. Okay, here goes. Now for the tightening. I've got my other hand on the outside pushing in to make sure that, that I'm actually meeting. That the staple on the outside is good. if there's a better way to do this. Ooh, that one's finally working. I finally got a technique that worked. And of course I've got to tuck these ends in because when I'm doing anything with the soil, I don't want them to catch on my flesh. Feel like I don't have the exact perfect pliers for this job and heavens knows I've got 10 different styles at least these are curved okay that one's nice and tight let me see if I can bring you to see that one yeah those are working out pretty good all right give me a minute I'm gonna get the rest tight and uh, then we'll work on the next step putting the rest of this pot together because at this point I only have half a pot. I'm ready for the next part which is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking because I've got I've got this whole thing put together and I've got some more pieces over here. If they don't fit and I can't get them together I'm going to feel like I've spent an awful lot of time drilling holes and cutting wires and trying to make this work. There's a cat right there. Hey Kiki. So we'll see how this goes.
Okay, I think you've got the hang of that part. Drill holes, cut wire, twist wire. So I'm gonna carry on, see if I can finish it up and hopefully show you a finished product. Okay, well, I've had a couple things happen. One thing happened was I drilled too close to the edge and broke through. Another thing happened is right here, I was drilling here and it broke through. So that means I've got to drill two holes now to patch back together what fell apart. And I'm also realizing that as you drill, if the drill bit's coming from the front, there's not as much chip out, it chips out on the back side. So when I'm drilling from the inside out, I get a smoother hole here and a bigger chip on the outside. And I guess that doesn't really matter because this whole thing is a broken pot, but maybe I'll start drilling from the outside so the bigger chips are on the inside. On my outdoor workspace, I've got battery for the drill charging. So while it's charging, I've got this piece to put back together again that broke while I was drilling. I'm hoping that this piece is the missing piece, but I'm not sure. I think the outer right one and left one must get together. This pot, I figured out that's exactly how it lies. And most likely that bit, that triangular bit goes in there. That just is an awful lot of drilling in order to put this pot back together again. So I'm, I'm not sure what I think about that. I'm not sure if I'll tackle that or not, but I'm about to pick up the drill battery and put the last piece in and then figure out what's missing. I really hope that it's this piece over here. I really, really hope. Okay, so here's where I am now. I'm getting better at figuring out where to put a stabilizing piece. Like I need one here, definitely. And I'm busy putting one here. And then I have a nice big V. And I, I'm hoping that this is, oh, thank goodness. This is the piece that goes there. And it's just gonna be a couple holes and I will have my pot back. This is about to be my favorite pot because of all the work that went into it. Sure. all right, just waiting for the drill to recharge at this point. I guess Jasper's decided with the fan going, that this is kind of a new spot to hang out. So I've recharged the battery again. And I have the last piece goes in and probably six to eight holes to go and I'm done. All right, I lucked out. The last piece fit perfectly and everything went back together the way it should and my battery died so I guess I didn't get any video of the very very end but great project and saved me a bit of money. So thanks for watching. Hope you found some value in this. Show me your repaired pot and I will see you in the next video. Please click like and subscribe so you'll catch me in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.